Hi, I'm Paul from pdhsports.com, the leading online racket specialist, and I'm here today with Greg Lovin, who's the world number 25. Greg, thanks for coming today to uh, basically uh, reignite our series of what's in the bag. So hmm. it's something that we've done a number of players over the last 15, 20 years, but we've not done a few for a while. So yeah. Greg, so Greg's just come back from A, America, and playing PSL last night. Yep. And you're off to play Yorkshire League tonight. Right. So, so Greg, we're obviously going to have a little insight into some of the things that Greg would carry in his bag, typically. Yeah, so as you said, I'm just back off my travels. So, um, and I didn't realise I was going to do this today. So it's a very authentic uh, view of what's in my bag today. But starting off, I guess, with the, the basics. Um, I usually carry about four four or five rackets with me on tour. I've got two of my... My old rackets that I use, plus the the new ones that I'm going to be switching to. Um, so just quickly, so you yeah. were using the uh, Tech Pro Lite. Yep. And now you're uh, moving over to the moving on to the T Pro 120s um, now. So um, yeah, a little bit of a changeover with the new with the new rackets coming into play. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to to getting into them. Um, I obviously, carry the grips, my grips, Caracal, uh, white ones for me personally. They're my favourite. Um, with the most like tackiness and stuff, I just always enjoy white grips. Um, compete plasters, got bad feet, blister plasters. Um, some Obviously with the new shoes now, that's what I'm thinking. That won't, that won't be a problem, but it's more actually my gym shoes that are not caracal that, that yeah. seems to um, flare them up. So they're just for um, if I do happen to have them. Um, some hyd hydration stuff, some caffeine gum. I'm actually not coffee drinker which is very surprising to pretty much 99.9% .9 of the tour um, so I take my uh, caffeine through chewing gum and that's uh, to spark me up before before matches right. um, and yeah in other parts of my bag I use obviously the caracal competition bag which allows me both the compact to be compact for a tournament but also allows me so much space in the bag to to carry all these all these things in all the different so the, pockets it's not coming over the camera there, but there's like a nice little uh, netting side section that's uh, you've got your yeah like a netting just to keep it all sort of neat and tidy in, in my bag um what else have i got in here the skipping rope um ice pack if i do happen to get an injury it's really handy to to travel with um, at tournaments, um, some balls for getting in all the nooks and crannies um, to help sort of manage my body when there isn't physios there. That's all um, I can do. So these are the little things that I carry just for uh, for body sort of protection wise. A bit of my clothes, obviously the caracal socks that I use notoriously, shorts, spare t-shirts. I mean this this pocket is usually filled to the brim with with spare kit. How sweaty uh, we all get. Um, so you're pretty much head to toe, you're head to toe with Caracal. Head to toe you? have been since I signed with them about ten, yeah eight to ten years ago now. Clothing with the shoes, socks, shorts, t-shirts, everything. I'm, I'm head to toe. So and and proudly, I think the even the the kit that I'm wearing at the moment, this is all new. It's probably the best it's looked in years. And I just I love the feel of the kit, love the look of the kit now. And I think they're they're doing really innovative things to to make Caracal stand out for one, but also look looked really good. I mean, with the shoes in the background here, I think these look really slick um, now, and I think everyone's going to want to want to use them. I think they, they stand out for all the right reasons. So, yeah. um, last pocket probably, which is again a, a little bit of a travel pocket. Actually, coming back from America, I mean, I've got this. I'll show you after, but I've got my sleeping tablets for jet lags, some sort of um, ear uh, cancelling um, device, so that I can't. Um, in hotel rooms, it can get really noisy. I mean, we're going from hotel to hotel. So, um, and this, my little SpongeBob sleeping mask that I can't go without. I mean, the amount of looks, funny looks I get. Obviously, I can't see people looking at me, but my wife who travels with me on the plane says I get a lot of funny looks with this. So, yeah. something that I wasn't planning showing you guys today, but it was there, so I'm not going to hide it. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it from, from my what's in the bag. So, just a couple of technical questions. And so, obviously, you did refer to the fact that uh, white is your favourite colour, well not just your favourite colour, you think it performs best because it has no pigment in the colour system. Yeah. So I've heard quite a few players say that. Yeah, I, th I think everyone's got their personal preference with it, but for me, it's white. I mean, this one's a brand new racket, so I haven't got around to changing the grip yet, but 
Um, white for me is by far the best for my performance anyway. Um, it could just be placebo effect thinking it's the best, but they do come in a range of colors like the shoes do now. And I think there is a grip for everyone. I think white is just my personal preference. And then finally, because we often get asked, like, so when you're stringing up your rackets, what is the um, tension that you, you use? So I own 27 pounds now um, with the Caracol Evolution 115s. Um, I've been 27 for for a while now, but I used to string them a lot light, a lot um, looser, at about 22. Um, and now, for whatever reason, got to experiment a little bit, and now my my preference is 27. So 27 wherever wherever I go. Yeah, excellent. Right, so there you have it. A little insight into Greg's bag. Very organised. <laughs> um, hopefully, so that you know the club players out there need to think a little bit about how many rackets they carry in, like the fitness side is very important as well. Make sure you've got like you're looking after your body. I know with my my bad back that things like the roller and stuff like mm -hmm. that is really important. But yeah, really useful. Thank you for sharing it with us. And um, got these products are available obviously at the videos.